Michael Lombardi joining us now, our Nesson NFL expert. Michael, three Patriots named to the Pro Bowl who got snubbed from New England, though. You know, it's interesting. I thought more from defense would have been there. Certainly, you know, when you break down, J.C. Jackson's really played well this year. Jamie Collins had, a, had an outstanding season. Uh, but I, I think they play great team defense as opposed to individual defense. So I was a little bit surprised with that. Obviously, offensively, they've struggled. So I didn't think anybody was going to get there from their offense. But uh, for the most part, I was surprised more defensively and then special teams. I mean, obviously, Matthew Slater game there. But typically, the Patriots, Patriots always have a kicker on there, Stephen Guskowski, not this year. Okay, well, Stephon Gilmore booked his ticket to Orlando, third career Pro Bowl selection. Can the league just give him Defensive Player of the Year now, or who can actually prevent this guy from winning it? You know, I, I don't know. It's He's been really outstanding all season long in every single game. I don't even know why people try to throw the football in his direction. I mean, Daniel Hunter of the Minnesota Vikings has been great. I mean, T.J. Watt at Pittsburgh has been outstanding. Shaq ba Barrett of Tampa Bay has played well, but it, for a whole season, I think Gilmore has been been the most dominant player in the league. I would think that he's certainly going to get a lot of votes. 12 Ravens named to the Pro Bowl and, and new NFL record. Absolutely insane. Are, are people just way too hyped up for Baltimore or do the voters get it right? Well, I think winning always gets it right, right? And I think, you know, they've got the kicker, the long snapper. They've got a bunch of special teams guys on there that help add to that number. But I think when you look at it, Marcus Peters comes over and makes the Pro Bowl in the AFC from the NFC in just a short time. I think their winning has really helped make them a much better team. And obviously with Lamar Jackson, their offensive line, they send two players from their offensive line to the Pro Bowl and I think that makes a huge difference you know we Ronnie Stanley's really been an outstanding left tackle but certainly helped by Lamar Jackson's ability to move around and Marcia Yonda has always been a pro bowler so I think it's a little bit of a combination of winning guys that have gone before and Lamar making everybody else better uh, Michael two interceptions one pick six against Cincinnati it's not good enough to take home defensive player of the week for Stephon Gilmore uh, that honor goes to Bill's corner Tredavious White but speaking of Buffalo What's changed? Like, what's different with the Bills compared to when New England beat them back in week five, 16 to 10? I think more confidence. I mean, they're a confident team. They know who they are. They know how they have to play the game. And I think this game is going to come down to can Josh Allen make plays a quarterback with his arm, not with his feet. He's going to have to make some throws with his arm. He's not going to be able to move around in the pocket. When you break down the games that he's lost, Philadelphia, Baltimore, uh, when, when he's lost games, it's been his inability to make plays in the passing game. Even the Cleveland loss has been a struggle. And, of course, the last New England game. This has got to be Buffalo's passing game has to shine for the Bills to win. And they've got to win in the kicking game, too. I think that's where Belichick certainly feels like he's got to gain an advantage with field position to create a shorter field against a very good defense. That being said, what's your prediction? Oh, I think that, you know, look, the Patriots don't lose three in a row. I mean, they're not going to lose this game. Obviously, they won last week against Cincinnati, but to lose two in a row at home, I just don't see it. I think this game's going to come down to the defense. It'll be a defensive struggle, but I do understand that they know how to attack the Bills. They've got to play their best game up front. This will be about their offensive line. They've got to come together as a unit this week on Saturday and play their best, but I like the Patriots to win by at least a field goal.